For most students, how our work goes from submission to final grade can be a bit of a mystery. So here is your guide to the people and the processes behind the marking. While you're working hard on your studies, staff are working just as hard behind the scenes. Every bit of assessed work you do, whether that's an essay, exam, research report or group presentation, is set by staff responsible for that unit. They also establish the criteria that will be used when marking. Their questions and tasks are then double checked by another member of staff, along with the marking criteria, before being shared with us. Most of the work you do will be completed independently, but there are always opportunities to get clarification along the way. You can ask questions in class or email staff or post the discussion board before you submit. Look out for revision aids too. Often you can find example questions, past papers. There may also be opportunities for feedback by taking practice tests or exams. Once you submit your work, it goes to these guys, the markers. They meet and discuss how your grades should be applied. Then, they mark each essay using the set criteria. When they're finished, a moderator looks at random samples of work to check everything is spot on, including looking at grade distributions across different markers, just in case. If they're not happy, which does happen, then they'll ask for papers to be looked at again. When all that's finished, you'll get your grade and any feedback. Reading over your feedback is key to improving your grade in the future. If it's not clear what you need to do differently, get in touch with the unit lead. If you're still not making progress, your academic advisor can help you figure out what needs to change. And to make sure everything is as it should be. External examiners take an independent look at everything a sample of students have done for a final stamp of approval. So there you have it. That's how staff make sure your marks are fair, consistent and accurate. Nice one! <laughs>